Hey guys, Anthony Pishbone here, founder of AP Growth. On this channel, I'll talk about how to achieve financial freedom in the stock market using options trading. If you're interested in that, you're definitely going to want to subscribe. In today's video, we're going to do a deep dive technical analysis on Tesla stock just to see where we think it's going to trade over the next two to 12 months. If you appreciate the video at the end, give it a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. And let's dive into the charts now. All right, so we have Tesla stock pull up here on the daily chart. These lines are the EMAs. This top one is a 20 EMA. EMA stands for exponential moving average. 50 EMA, 100 EMA, 150, and then the red one is the 200 EMA. So what we see is we're using the Heiken Ashis, which means I just clicked on the candles here. I changed from regular candles to Heiken Ashi, and this shows more momentum or where the momentum is likely to continue in the short term or based on the technicals of the current chart. So what we see is we see the RSI continuing to downtrend, which means there's no sign of a reversal yet on the daily chart. Stochastic as well, making a downtrend. However, there is a little bit of a bottoming showing here because as you can see we come down to the bottom and we flatline now this isn't truly a sign of bottoming i'll show you why that doesn't mean much on its own if we scroll back to tesla stock here back in may on the stochastic it looked like boom looked like we bottomed right here may 3rd we saw the rsi still downtrending but we bottomed May 3rd. Where were we May 3rd? May 3rd, we traded at 673. Well, then how come when we bottomed here, or at least it seemed like we bottomed, we can actually continue to drop another 16% over the next two weeks. And you can see the line still went a little bit farther down on the stochastic and the RSI also continued to downtrend. If we're looking to own a stock for the next one, two, three, four weeks, then we wanna wait for more confirmation on the daily chart before getting in. Now, if we're looking to own Tesla stock for one year or five years or 10 years, then this is an amazing point to buy right now at 900, honestly, and I'll show you why at the end of the video. But if we're looking to trade and we wanna be in and out within the next one week to four weeks, then it would not be a good time to buy Tesla stock. Last time, Tesla stock had the parabolic rise, went all the way to a high of 880, 900, topped out, and then we saw the RSI just making lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. We broke the trend of lower highs and came up, and it would have looked like a good time to buy here when the RSI was 44, and it looked like we would be starting a new run. Well, we kind of did. At least we got about 10% or so out of it. If you take a look here, once we got above on the RSI, we went another... Another six, seven percent once we got the confirmation, but then we broke back down. And again, it looked like we were gonna break out, but then again, we got rejected and actually made a double bottom here. And there was no sign of us truly getting out of this trend and making new highs again until we saw the RSI actually stay above 70. At least once we got to 69.9 on the RSI, we could have bought here and it would have been better because there wasn't a long time you would have been in a loss because we actually started stair-stepping our way back up. However, that's not guaranteed because what can also happen is we can go up to a 70 RSI and then just go right back down and continue that trend that we saw here in May. We're making lower lows in the RSI and we could have made a lower low on Tesla stock breaking below the 550. So the true confirmation was actually when the RSI broke in October and we were right here, October 13th. That would have been the true time to buy Tesla stock and, and you know really go heavy for a run. And that's what I personally did with the call options and profited from that, took my profits around the 1000s. Another way to look at when there's a good time to buy Tesla stock is by looking at these EMAs. So in the in the previous history of Tesla stock, ever since ever since it made a run before COVID, if you ever bought Tesla stock when it tested the 50 EMA, it was a good buy. What was the best buy and the most guaranteed risk reward in the short term was anytime you bought it when it hit the yellow or the orange. Hitting the orange EMA, which is the 150, was is extremely rare and it's likely to happen once a year. What can happen is you can miss this, it can bounce up and then that EMA trends higher and you never get that same price again. But what's a really good risk reward based on the history is buying the yellow EMA, whenever it hits the yellow EMA. When we were at 2019, Tesla broke above here in October and never really looked back and we never got to the even the green EMA until COVID hit. So we made this huge run here when the EMA was at 49 back in October 2019, made this huge run and you never would have got 49 ever again. Even when it sold off, the EMA now was at 130. So each time you see the green or the yellow get hit, it's a good risk reward to buy Tesla stock because look what happened. If you bought in the green, well, it would only take 
two months for you to be profitable. If you buy when Tesla hits the yellow ribbon, it would take you less than one month to be profitable. If we look at another time when Tesla stock hit the yellow ribbon from the COVID lows, when we started to make that uptrend again, was 105, the yellow e the 100 EMA. When did Tesla ever hit 105 again since April 2020? Never, never hit it again. So if you're waiting this whole time for Tesla to pull back to the yellow ribbon, well, now you'd be like sitting on the sidelines in cash until Tesla finally hits the yellow ribbon February 23rd. Well, that yellow ribbon is now 650. You would have been on the sidelines or in another stock missing the rise from 105 to 650 if you waited until Tesla retested the yellow ribbon. That's just showing how rare it's been in the past. Doesn't mean the future is gonna be this rare, but if the trend is su suggesting that, then it's a really good buy anytime Tesla stock gets to the yellow ribbon. If you bought this dip on the yellow ribbon here, boom, you buy at 650, well, you would have been profitable and then it dipped below, but it would have taken you 160 days to be profitable if you bought that dip on the yellow ribbon. You wanna combine the tests of the EMA with the strength of the technicals on the RSI and the stochastic. The fear that people have right now is that we fall into this where it takes us 160 days to get above the price of the entry of the yellow ribbon. Because if we scroll back to today, where is the yellow ribbon? Well, the yellow ribbon is at 912. We dropped below that on the Friday and then pushed above. So the question people are asking is, is that the good buy? And then we never really see that again. Or is it the same pattern as before is where we hit that, we have some trading above that in the coming weeks, and then we drop back below that and we trade below down towards the orange and the red ribbon for the coming weeks and trade sideways for months until we get to about February, March, and then finally break back above 920 and then never see 920 again in February and March. That's the question people have. So all it comes down to is what's your time frame? If you're looking to be in Tesla stock for six months or more, then this test of 912 is the greatest entry. It's such a good risk reward if your holding period is greater than six months. It's possible that we touch that and then we don't really ever hit that until that EMA climbs up to 1200 and then we test 1200 in February or March and that's the new 100 EMA because it's, it's always, with Tesla stock, it's continuing to rise and get higher and higher as you can see from the previous times. If we wanna compare this time to the beginning of 2021, which, it's, it's, which is very similar because of the same fears of growth stocks selling off, the fears of inflation, it was all the similar kind of stresses on the stock. So it, there's a lot of things that are the same and that's why a lot of people kind of think that it's possible that we do trade down to the orange and the red ribbon, test that, and then come up and never really hit that again, just like we did right here at the beginning where we actually dropped below the yellow, went to the orange, tested it, came up, tested the orange again, came up, and then broke even lower, tested the red ribbon, came up, tested the red ribbon again, and then never looked back. If we compare this time to the previous time at the beginning of February, then what's possible to happen is we bounce off this yellow line at 9.12, we hit the resistance at 1,000, and then break back lower and actually test this orange EMA, which is the 150 EMA, around the beginning of January, bounce up, make, a new, make another lower high, and then come down and test the red ribbon, which was at 800, but by this point, it will be mid to end January, and it'll climb up likely towards 840. That'll be the true low, and we bounce up from there and then start trending back up to making higher lows and going back towards all time high. Now the risk of using this approach is that of course it's possible that we don't dip into the 800s and that 900 was the low and now we trade sideways from 900 to 1000. Are you willing to wait for an entry that is another eight to 10% drop while potentially risking never being able to get in because the low was 900 or are you okay with knowing that there is the potential for this to happen, what I just showed you right here? However, the more likely scenario is that we do make that drop, and then by the beginning of 2022, we are trading above 1,000. If you're okay with that, then 932 is a fantastic entry for Tesla stock. What I'm personally going to do is I'm going to sell puts at the 900 strike expiring at the end of December. So that way, if Tesla is trading anywhere below 900 from now to the end of December, then I'm forced to buy the shares, but I also collect money to put this trade on. 
Here's exactly what that would look like. I would click sell leg on the 900 strike right here and you can see I actually have the position open. I'll click sell leg and I'll collect $28. If this put option gets exercised and Tesla is under 900 by the end of December, then I'm forced to buy 100 shares at $900 per share, but I collected $28 per contract for doing this, which means my average cost basis for purchasing those shares is actually like 872. So it's like I'm buying 100 shares of Tesla stock at 872, even if Tesla is trading at 890 by expiration. And based on this chart, I believe 872 is a fantastic entry. One of the things we haven't talked about is the gap here. If we go back to normal candles, there is a gap. If you really open up the chart on the daily, there's a gap here from 843 to 851. So there's another possibility for us to fill this gap and drop to about 840 to 850 in the coming month. Now this was all looking at the daily chart. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. On the weekly chart, RSI was high and it's just going straight down. The stochastic is going straight down. The MACD is showing signs of topping and continuing down. So everything's showing like the weekly chart will continue down and it's not looking very good. However, when it's like this, it can turn and head up. One example is right here back when COVID hit, we were very high and we dropped to an RSI of about 45 and then went straight back up. Here, we're going straight down and we're at 57, which means it's possible that we have another one or two weeks of selling and then come up. That does happen. Again, it would push us down to about 850 probably and we start to make our way back up. And in terms of the EMAs on the weekly chart, you'll see that it really strongly bounces off of the 20 and it, it's super rare for it to get to the 50 EMA on the weekly chart. So the 50 EMA on the weekly chart would be 50 weeks long. So let's just take a look at how Tesla stock has behaved in the past using the 20 EMA and the 50 EMA on the weekly chart. You'll see that when COVID hit, it tested the 50 EMA, never looked back. It broke through the 20. Then you see the next sell-off for Tesla stock, hit the 20 EMA in February, broke below, and then came up and it was trading around the 20 EMA, broke below it again, it actually touched the 50 EMA in May, and then never looked back. And here we are today, touching the 20 EMA. We could get bought up again, and then later on, drop lower and test this 50 EMA as it comes up towards 840, at some at some point in January. And then that could be the low, and we could continue higher. If you're looking to, in conclusion, the full summary analysis of Tesla stock, it looks like if you were to want to be in the stock for one week to four weeks, you would want to wait for confirmation of bottoming and turning to head up on the daily chart, because it still looks like we're continuing to go down on the daily chart, the one hour chart, and the weekly chart. So you'd want to see a more confirmation of what's actually turning to head up with the indicators and seeing that confirmation of the bounce of the 100 EMA holding. If you're looking to own and hold Tesla stock for six months or more, then right now is a fantastic time to buy anywhere in the 900s, honestly. What I'm personally doing, since I already have the majority of my portfolio in Tesla stock and the rest is in cash, I'm selling puts on Tesla stock around the 900 strike expiring in two weeks at the end of the year. In case Tesla stock does trade below 900, I'll be forced to buy the shares at 900, but I'm collecting $28 in premium, which means my actual, my actual cost basis for those shares will be 872 instead of buying today at 932. The good news is for anyone who is in Tesla stock, yeah, we have this massive upward trading line, which is showing that the low for Tesla stock by mid 2022 would be $1,000 per share. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other stocks or companies you wanted me to do a technical analysis of. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Subscribe for more just like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.